Hi everybody, Ashley at Frugal Coupon Living here. I wanted to talk to you really quickly about um, Etsy digital downloads, where to find your digital prints, how to download your digital prints, and also how to print your digital prints. Um, this can be a little bit challenging if you were using the Etsy app, but it's really easy if you can get to um, your mobile device browser or get to your computer. So let's get started. I'm gonna close me out and start walking you through the steps. Okay, so first, how to find my digital downloads. You do not wanna be in the Etsy app to find your digital downloads. Right now, getting your digital files is not available in the app. However, if you are on your um, tablet or your phone device, you can go to your browser and find it. So if you're on a computer, you can do the same. You're gonna visit etsy.com, your purchases. Okay, once you go to your purchases, you're gonna find the product you purchased and you're gonna look for download files. So I can see right here, I bought Thief of Joy Theodore Roosevelt print and I'm gonna download my files. That is going to save, actually that's gonna open a new browser tab. And I can see that one is this size, um, 2.56 megabytes and one is 19.25. I can either print a JPEG or a PDF this seller gave me two types of um, products. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the PDF and that's gonna to save to my computer. I have that saved and here is the product. I just opened it in another tab in my browser. Now, again, if you are on a Etsy app using your phone, you will not be able to download that product. You do need to get on your computer device or in your phone browser. Um, if you have trouble finding your files, you can message the seller and I would give them your name and I would give them your order number and then also maybe the day or time of day that you purchased your product. And you can contact the seller using your, um, let's see, messages right here. So that's how you will do that, etsy.com backslash messages. And also on frugalcouponliving.com, and maybe you're here right now if you're watching this video, I give a lot of answers to frequently asked questions for printing Etsy digital downloads. So go to frugalcouponliving.com, Etsy digital downloads. So now we know that this product is downloaded to my computer. The next thing you wanna do is print. I can use this printer button and print to my home computer. But if you're like me, you might want quality prints from a local printing shop. And I like to use Staples. So I wanted to show you really quick how to print from Staples if you have purchased digital downloads. So go over to staples.com backslash services backslash printing. And I show you that here too, how to print at Staples. So right down here, you can see how to print your digital files. And here are step-by-step -step directions for how to print at Staples. You can also watch my YouTube video for how to print at Staples if you find that helpful. But using this Etsy resource, I'm gonna teach you right now. So you will scroll down to document printing and start creating. Here you can choose between simple print and professional print. I like to choose professional print, though both are great. I know that professional print gives me a few more options for the choices I need. And I'm gonna go to my computer and I know that I downloaded that product from Etsy just now, so I'm gonna to go to my downloads and there's my Theodore Roosevelt quote. And it's gonna take a minute to upload my files to my Staples account. Since I use the bigger file, it's gonna take a little bit of time to upload. Okay, so I'm gonna continue with this process. And here on this page, I get to make some choices. I'm gonna choose eight and a half by 11, but you can choose any size um, that you would like for your paper size. And the orientation, I know that this is portrait. 
um, I chose scale to fit to make sure everything fits on the page. And then I'm going to go next. We can see I'm at 59 cents right now. I can go with standard paper, premium paper, colored paper, or even colored cardstock. My favorite is premium, and I choose white cardstock. I like this that this has a smooth, uncoated finish. Um, sometimes if I choose a coated finish that's not matte, it can be a little reflective and um, bounce light. I've jumped up to 74 cents. Color ink or black ink? Black ink, let's see what the price, 32 cents. Color ink, I'm at 74 cents. And again, these prices can change at any time. Staples, I have noticed, does not stay the same. Um, no finishing. I don't want anything on there. Um, and then it's asking me the project name. That sounds great. I might remove that part. Well, it didn't let me, so that's fine. No big deal. I'm choosing one copy. I'm going to choose delivery. The next step I'm probably going to close out of because it's going to give a lot of my personal information. But at that step, I'm going to begin the process of how to choose delivery. Even if I do not want this product sent to my home, I'm going to choose delivery and I can pick up at the store. I do find shipping it to your house adds a lot of money. Um, the shipping cost is kind of high even for one print. Um, and the store for me is only about three miles, so I just pick it up at my convenience. Usually it's done in the next 24 hours, but usually it asks for a 48 hour window. So that is how to find your Etsy digital files, how to download them, and how to print them from home or at your copy center. Hope you have a great day. Bye.